This is a packing seal repair video for the General Pump model KF series. The tools needed for this repair is an impact wrench, an adjustable wrench, a soft rubber mallet, packing lubricant, two support pins, a flashlight, a slide hammer with a 40 millimeter collet, a round nose tool, a pliers, a hook tool, a 10 millimeter hex, a 14 millimeter socket, a 3 8 inch ratchet, two pry bars, and a torque wrench. Use the impact wrench with a 10 millimeter hex attached to remove the two top row outer manifold retaining bolts. Install and thread two support pins in their place. Use the impact wrench with a 10 millimeter hex drive attached to remove the remaining six retaining bolts. Use an adjustable wrench to rotate the crankshaft. This will develop a space between the manifold and the crankcase. If necessary, Use the soft rubber mallet to lightly tap the manifold to provide even further separation. Insert the two pry bars into the space and gently pry the manifold further from the crankcase. Pull and remove the manifold off the crankcase. Remove the support pins. At times, the packing retainer may remain in the crankcase. Use the 14 millimeter socket to loosen and remove the plunger bolt. After removing the bolt, remove the plunger from the guide. Thread the slide hammer with a 40 millimeter collet into the packing retainer. Tap the slide hammer to remove the retainer from the manifold. Remove the retainer from the slide hammer. Inspect the plunger for pitting, cracking, chipping, or scoring and replace if necessary. Being careful to not damage the sealing surface, use the hook tool to remove the seal stack from the manifold. Remove the head ring, the high pressure seal, and the restop ring. Use pliers to remove the retaining clip. Remove the low pressure seal washer. Use a round head tool to remove the low pressure seal. And the O-ring. The high pressure seal, the restop ring, the low pressure seal and the O-ring are all available in a kit from General Pump. Inspect all components for wear and damage. Replace if necessary. Install the O-ring into the packing retainer. Respecting the orientation with the O-ring facing down, install the low pressure seal into the packing retainer. Install the washer and the retaining clip. Install the head ring, the high pressure seal, and the restop ring into the manifold. Apply packing lubricant to the seals. Install the plunger into the piston guide. Be sure to always replace the O-ring on the piston guide bolt during repairs. Install the bolt and tighten with the torque wrench using the proper specs.
install and thread the support pins. Rotate the crankshaft so the center plunger is at its outermost point, leaving the other two plungers staggered. Apply packing lubricant to all of the plungers. Install the packing supports onto the plungers and fully seat them into the crankcase. Install the manifold on the crankcase. Thread the remaining manifold retaining bolts. Start with the center bolts and alternately tighten them to help ensure proper positioning of the manifold. Remove the two support pins. Insert and thread the two remaining bolts and alternately tighten them, starting with the inner bolts and working to the outer bolts. Tighten all of the bolts with a torque wrench using the proper specs.